Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Angels are the Yetis of the Clouds. This is my dupe and I'm going to stamp over it. I started off with Neltik's Formula 2 as my base coat. And the story behind this is years ago Elevation Polish came out with a very limited edition polish called Yetis. I mean Angels are the Yetis of the Clouds. And of course I missed out on it and then they re-released a little bit more of it and I missed out again. So that's OPI's Push and Plurple, and this is Essie's Shine of the Times. This is what I'm going to use for my version of this one. So I missed out again, and I scoured the internet trying to find people that either were selling it or in a de-stash or whatever. I just was obsessed with it. I never did find it. So then I started looking for dupes or whatever I could get my hands on just to satisfy that need. And I came across somebody's website, I don't remember who, and they talked about layering. Now, I'm not even using the actual polishes they used. They did use OPS Push and Plurple, but they used the Nufo or Nofu or whatever flaky polish, and I don't have that one. So I tried it with Essie's Shine of the Times, and it worked out marvelous. So I'm gonna do two layers of these. I'm gonna do the purple, the shine of the times, more purple, and more shine of the times, and more purple. And I believe it gives it a really good mottled look. It's just, to me, it's just gorgeous. It's one of my favorite layering combinations. And it has totally taken care of that need for the one that's unobtainable. A lot of times we do see polishes on other people's channels that are just to die for or things we hear about that we really really want but we can't get them um, either because they're not available or they're unaffordable so um, it's nice to find alternatives sometimes we have to you know find what we can and, and be happy with that so I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat and get it to dry down isn't it pretty and I'm going to go mess it up with some stamping <laughs> after I did this manicure I really thought I should have done this and I should have done that. This one would also look gorgeous matte, but I don't do matte nails. So here's a swatch photo before I go stamping all over it. <laughs> I'm going to use this mash plate number 37 and I'm going to use the clouds and this bundle monster S216. It's got a little angel on it right there. And I will also be using this Red Angel 115 for the angel wings right there. As I'm blinding you, I apologize. And this Bundle Monster 612. And even I can't find the image. There it is. And I'm going to be stamping with Bundle Monsters Bam White and my Wish Stamper. I'm not happy with it. I guess you guys have already figured that out. It is not my monocle stamper from Bundle Monster. So I'm going to stamp on these clouds in white. And what I meant by messing this manicure up is I think that the nails that I did stuff on, I just got a little too busy with it. I should have put like the clouds on maybe my pointer and my pinky finger and then done angels on my middle and ring finger. But, you know, sometimes you look at a manicure in hindsight and realize you could have done things differently and made it look better. I'm not unhappy with it because it's got my, you know, fake angels or the yetis of the clouds on it. So I'm going to stamp this angel in white and then I'm going to re-stamp over it in gold. And as you can see, they're just getting a little busy looking. And sometimes that's the look you're going for, but that's not what I wanted this time. I'll be using this non-stamping polish called Bold Gold from Maybelline. It's one of my favorite stamping polishes. And go over that same image with the gold. It's still very cute, just a little too busy in my opinion. And I love this little image, this little flying angel. It's probably more of a Christmas <laughs> angel, but angels are angels. And I'm going to do the same thing with it. I'm going to stamp it in white first and then go over it with the gold polish. Make it just kind of stand out better. 
Got to get it lined up, though. There we go. Now, this was one of my favorites. I really did like that one. And here we go with the angel wings, and they're going to go on my thumb. And just like the other two, I'm going to do the white stamping and then the gold stamping on top. This will probably be a manicure I revisit. I might do it differently. I might try to do it like I pictured it in my head. And I'm going to top this one off some Pure Ice Girl on the Run, sealing all that stamping. And I am floating that the best I can so that I don't get any smearing. There we go. And I've already um, top coated my pointer and pinky, so I don't have to worry about doing those. <laughs> there we go. Come on, get it together. Like I said, I really do think this one would look good mattified. I might have to give that a shot someday. There we go. That one is finished. Well, I hope you like this one. Here's my swatch photo. Uh, thank you for watching. I would love to hear what you think about this one, so leave me a comment down below. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.